A message from the grave, an alarming pattern of inmate deaths, and a troubled jail under FBI investigation. Tonight, A.J. Legault continues our investigation, cruel and unusual. An inmate writhes in pain, begs to see a doctor, but instead of medical care, he's bussed off to a different jail. And that's where he died in the booking process. Tracy Lundmark was, and Tamara Poppy. I, I just don't understand that. Say their uncle, Bruce Lundmark, was many things. Among them, a talented artist who loved to paint, a Vietnam-era Navy veteran, and a longtime addict. It was his demons that he battled a good portion of his life. Drug possession landed him in the Beltrami County Jail in June 2019. A month later, he was transferred to the Clearwater County Jail and died within hours. The 63-year-old's autopsy detailed a complex series of medical issues, including gastrointestinal hemorrhage, a natural death, not really suspicious. That is, until Bruce sent his family a message from the grave. We found the note that he wrote. In his jail belongings, this scrawled note. If I die, sue the shit out of Beltrami Jail. So what happened to Bruce behind these jail walls? The mystery deepened as his family began hearing from other inmates. This bothered them so much that they felt like they had to reach out to somebody because they knew that it was wrong what happened to him. This internal Department of Corrections memo reveals an inmate filed a complaint with the state about how Lundmark's prolonged pain went untreated by jail nurses and his repeated requests to see a doctor were denied but the DOC inspector failed to review any medical records and found no violations. But Kara Levin didn't stop there. We obtained internal jail videos that show a man clearly in pain, and we asked two independent experts to review the medical records the state ignored. You sound frustrated just reading through this. I'm angry. Certified forensic nurse, Melissa Becker. I would treat my worst enemy this way and Dr. Laura Lehman, who specializes in emergency medicine. Yeah, it was, it was negligent. Negligent because there were plenty of warning signs Bruce had a serious medical condition. On July 19th, Bruce sent this medical request, asking to see a doctor or nurse because he was having pain where he shouldn't, around his kidneys or appendix, and thought he may have had a mild stroke because of numbness in his left leg and arm. A red flag. Dr. Lehman says called for immediate action. You call an ambulance and you go straight to the emergency department. But Men Correctional Care, the jail's for-profit medical provider, never even sent a nurse to see Bruce. Over the next two nights, he got worse. Pain so bad, records show other inmates told guards they needed to do something about it. Video shows Bruce doubled over in bed. In such pain, he ties his sheets into a makeshift sling in an apparent attempt to brace his aching body. A health tech, only qualified to hand out medications and take vital signs, did see Bruce and discovered his blood pressure was sky high, 210 over 188. By phone, an on-call nurse practitioner prescribed an extra dose of his blood pressure meds. But there's no record his other symptoms were treated. Finally, he was moved from the jail the next morning, but not for medical care. Because of jail overcrowding, he was transferred to Clearwater, a nurse writing patient release to another county prior to being seen. What words would you use to describe the care he received? Shocking. Horrifically shocking is what I would say. He didn't receive any care. Um, he received no care um, while he was there. It's not the first time Beltrami Jail and MEND have been accused of failing to provide medical care. The FBI is investigating the 2018 death of Hardell Sherrill, who became paralyzed and was left lying in his own filth, while guards and medical staff claimed he was faking. If Hardell don't get it, his mother, Delshia Perry, has filed an active federal lawsuit. When's enough enough? How many more people have to die? By the time Bruce arrived at Clearwater Jail, he could barely walk. While in a holding cell, waiting to be booked, he became unresponsive, throwing up what guards described as a brown tobacco-like liquid. He had a GI bleed 
and he bled to death internally and no one did anything about it. And that's complete negligence. To add insult to injury, get this, Beltrami County is trying to bill the Lundmark family $32,000 for the medical assistance they provided Bruce. What I see going on in Beltrami County is just complete disregard for human life. Attorney Zorislav Leiterman has been hired by Bruce's family as they prepare to fulfill his dying wish. Well, it was heartbreaking um, just to know that, you know, he was struggling and suffering to the point that he thought he was going to die. For Carol Levin Investigates, I'm A.J. Legault. If you have something you think our investigative team should look into, send an email to investigations at care11.com.